Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jessica and today I want to take you along as I give this white wicker shelf a boho makeover. So first let me tell you why I am transforming this particular white wicker shelving unit and I do plan on actually selling it when I'm done. So about a week ago I was watching YouTubers Jamie and Sarah and they picked up a shelving unit very similar to this from their local Goodwill spray painted it back to its more original color using Bustoleum's nutmeg spray paint and they sold it for about $150 in their area. Well fast forward to the week after I was watching their video and I saw this being thrown out in my neighborhood on trash day and so I decided I've got to try this trick as well. So I'm going to be spray painting this the same color that they did. Um, that's the Rust-Oleum's nutmeg color. So I've spent about $25 on spray paint. We'll see if I have to use all five cans that I purchased. And um, then I'm going to put it out on Facebook Marketplace and see how much I can get for it. So I hope this will be a fun little flip. I hope this will give this piece of furniture new life and make it something that somebody else will love. I think it'll be super cute. So I hope you'll come along. The first thing I had to do before starting this project was fix a few places where the wicker was coming off the frame and to do that I just used some wood glue and held it in place with blue painters tape as it was drying. Everything that I used I'll put in the description down below if you're interested in checking it out but I just put on some of that blue painters tape and then let it dry for 24 hours before taking it off. The other thing I did before starting to spray paint was wash this thing outside with a hose. It was just so dusty when I picked it up and I really wanted to make sure that the spray paint would adhere to it. So I gave it a good spray and then just let it air dry. And then I was ready to spray paint. So you'll notice that I'm spraying outside and I am also using a respirator. I bought one because I was doing a lot of spray painting projects and I figured it was better to have one. Again, you'll find everything that I used in the description below. I did take the shelves out to paint. I figured that would be a little bit quicker and a little bit easier. So I just put those down over some cardboard. I also did all my spray painting on the grass. I figured that if I accidentally oversprayed, it wasn't too bad because at some point I was gonna cut the grass anyway. The Rust-Oleum spray paint did cover pretty well and so this did not require too many coats. It says to spray paint from about a foot away from the surface, so that's what I did. And I found that I pretty much did everything for one pass and then I just went around when I was done to inspect and make sure I didn't miss anything. It really did not take too long, maybe 30 minutes max. As for dry time, it says it dries to the touch in 20 minutes dries enough to handle in one hour and then is fully dry in 24 hours. I did only need four cans to get this project completed, so I do have one can for some future project. After I was finished and let everything dry, I took the shelves inside and staged them so I could take pictures for Facebook Marketplace. I used some books that I had, some fake greenery I got from Ikea and had around the house, and a little wood duck figure from Crate and Barrel, as well as a fake typewriter. I think staging is so important because it can help people really envision what something might look like in their house and really make it look its best. One other tip I have about taking pictures for Facebook Marketplace is to take pictures in the square format because that's how they actually display for people and so you have more control over what people actually see. Alright guys, so I've staged it and I've put it on Facebook Marketplace. I'll see how long it takes to sell. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, I hope you'll hit the like button down below, subscribe down below, and comment down below if you've made over one of these shelves yourself. I'd love to know if you kept it or if you sold it, and if so, for how much. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.